What's up guys, Room's Filthy, it's Easter, have no family in California, um, limited friends because I just checked into this base, Not, don't know a lot of people here, majority of the people I know in Cali are from YouTube, um, you know, a social network, and then dudes that I've, you know, been with in the past in the military, whether it's like Texas or North Carolina, um, we're basically just going to go out and hike because I don't want to spend Easter inside all day, that's all I've been doing, I went to the galley and ate depressingly by myself. <laughs> so we're gonna clean up this filthy room. You guys, if you're ever given like any sort of thing that you can use for your brag sheet, highly recommend finding like lamination paper. Uh, not actually laminating it, but finding little sheet covers to put it in, so I was volunteering at this uh, museum, the USS Midway, which used to be a ship, tons of history behind it. If you guys ever heard about the Battle of Midway, probably know about this. Give me a letter of accommodation, use that for my next promotion cycle, put that away with my evals. Don't ever lose shit like that. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. Don't really care, cause field day's tomorrow anyway. So I'm just gonna have to go back through everything. But, let's jump. I'm gonna start carrying one of those in my car. I forgot to shave uh, <laughs> on Friday. And I showed up to work, got in trouble. Already looking bad, which sucks. Cause I really wanna make a good impression on uh, my supervisors and I messed up. So, now I'm gonna have a razor in my car at all times. Not. Never make the same mistake twice. If they call you out on something and you get in trouble, cool. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't do that shit twice. All right, let's head up to Torrey Pines. How long does it say? 22 minutes. Dude, I live so close to everything, man. California's awesome. Like seriously, in Illinois, I'd have to drive like hours to get somewhere cool. But here, but here, everything's so close. Everything's so nice. Oh god, my charger's broke. Twenty bucks, dude. Twenty bucks to park. What the hell, man? Like it's a national park, right? 20 bucks, you can park a car to climb up that shit. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. All right, we might be lost. No idea which what way, because it broke off into like three paths. I took the one no one else was, so hopefully that brings me to some cool shit. <laughs> I see, the thing is, in case you haven't seen like my other adventure vlogs where uh, like I was at Garden of the Gods, right? Which is like close to the Kentucky border, technically still in Illinois, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the whole point of that was to find the highest cliff to jump off and kill myself on impact. And today, since I was unsuccessful first time, now I know that it should be head first. Um, but unfortunately, cool stuff like this, it's all blocked off by Protected habitat. Hey, <laughs> boys, not trying to get a $400 fine. I mean, would I even have to pay that? I don't technically live here. I mean, I live here, but my license is in. <laughs> so, guys, I've been discussing with my uh, fiance a lot about, you know, whether or not I'm going to stay in, I'm going to re enlist, because in case you don't know, coming up on my three year mark in August, going to get that good cookie medal because I haven't messed up yet. Uh, I mean, there's still time. But, uh, oh, like people carve their name into a cactus. $400 fine, dude. I'm gonna I'm track you down. EE? -E? Oh, you're done, man. I'm gonna find you, dude. Yep, they're this way. How's it going, guys? <laughs> good. How's it going? Good. Pretty good. But like I was saying, 
you know, the decision's coming up if I want to stay in. Corman have to sign five-year contracts, so I still have like two years left and some change. Um, but the thing is, I'm not happy at my pay grade. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my job, but, you know, I've never, I've never been one to just see other people take opportunities, and I'm, I, I'm content with where I am. You always want to be moving up. So, I mean, being enlisted is great. Probably going to put in an officer package, and if not, then I'm just going to get out, take advantage of the GI Bill, and become a nurse. Maybe apply through Public Health Service Corps, which is another branch. It's not a military branch. It's a uniform branch. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, but think about taking advantage of that. And then, yeah, man, that's the, that's the plan so far. I was considering uh, going back to Texas to do physical therapy, and then I thought to myself, it's like, yeah, physical therapy always been like, when I was a little kid and I had all those shoulder surgeries, I was like, oh, that's such a cool job, but do I really want to go through a tech school, even though I know I'm not going to do the whole, because physical therapy is moving to a doctorate's program, do I really want to do that if I'm not going to go through the whole pipeline, you know, so I'm going to get, a, I'm 21 now, I'm joined when I was 18, I'm going to get out when I'm like 23, 22, uh, whatever, uh, and uh, hopefully move up in life from there. Have a kid, why could... <laughs> it's funny, because like everyone's goals are like, you know, I want to be a spaceman. It's like, dude, I just want a big house with a family, and a little boy and a dog. Being from the Midwest, you guys probably think I'm a crybaby, but my RP1 told me that like this place is like covered in rattlesnakes like because of like the storm like rattlesnakes were like coming out and sneaking into people's houses and shit so when i hear i heard like rustling in the bush like the first thing i did was like flinch and like make a fist like what am i gonna do punch it i'm gonna punch it in the snout like like it's a like it's a shark coming towards me man i i, I would have the dumbest reflex for rattlesnake if i stepped on one i'd be oh, and just get bit because i kicked when I was in uh, Camp Lejeune and I'm going through like this field op shit, what is it called, a copperhead I think? I like, oh, look, a rattlesnake. Talking about rattlesnakes and I find one right there. See, those things are fierce. Oh, sh oh sh <laughs> Yeah, anyway. All right, copperhead snake, North Carolina, normal. And it's like night, walking through, have all our gear on, I'm walking around doing the land nav, and I kick one. I look down, thing is a branch, and it moves. Oh shit! I jump by my buddy, who's not a Midwesterner. It's like, oh dude, that was a copperhead, you know. And I was like, ah oh, dude, I'm gonna play this up way more than it is for the rest of my life. Like right now, you guys won't believe this shit. I went in a loop. That's where I went in. That's where I came out. All for nothing, man. This <laughs> happens when you don't read a sign. So I my fiance here. She's way smarter than me. She'd read the sign. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this takes me to where I want to go. Because this whole thing just branches off to a bunch of different trails. And I honestly have to pee, like, extremely bad. But there's no bathroom, so... Yeah, I wish there wasn't like a thousand people on the hiking trail right now because I have to pee so bad, man. Like everything's gated off and every second you think you're alone, like more and more people are coming from both directions. So bad, man. Bladder's about to explode. Maybe I'll just piss myself, dude. I'm going to be like, oh, dude, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> and I'll be like, I don't understand. I'm from Illinois. California, too tough. Okay, so there's a bathroom over there. I just gotta go hike another like, however many. <laughs> ah. Feeling super gross right now. <laughs> Touching that door probably gave me syphilis AIDS, but. So obviously there's tons of like military bases here, but I just saw some dude wearing straight up his like navy PT gear, like the fluorescent yellow <laughs> and like the blue shorts. It's like, dude, you got, 
I mean, technically you can wear that, but it's like, you got nothing else to wear, dude. Like, <laughs> all right. I got my uh, snake punching gloves on, and uh, we're out here looking for the dude I stepped on last time. I got unfinished business. Uh, you know, he threw some illegal knees. So, we're gonna make up for it right now. <laughs> you know what's weird? Like, even though this is like super enclosed space, Super nice, because the sun's not hitting me for like, you know, it's not radiating on my forehead. I'm gonna have the dumbest suntan, because it's like, it's gonna have like a line across. It's all right though. <laughs> boys, we found the spot. Found the jumping spot, boys. <sighs> not ideal, but uh, you know, might get the job done. <laughs> so at this point, I'm kind of just searching for a cool photo shot. Photo spot for uh, Instagram, but I mean, like, I don't know if it's the camera, if it's me, but it's just really hard to get stuff at the right angle. Like, I can't capture what it looks like in real life just because I'm horrible. Now... How do I get there so I can take a photo? <laughs> Life, Instagram likes, you know, thin line. Man, this place is gorgeous. And I, I love doing shit outside. Me and my girlfriend both, fiance, keep saying girlfriend. Uh, me and my fiance both love doing shit outside. I've always loved doing stuff outside. It wasn't like I was super indoorsy. Like growing up, I wouldn't even play video games indoors. Me and my buddies, Michael, Jeremy, Brad, we used to play our Game Boy Advance outside. The thing was, every day, we'd go to Jay's house, um, a couple grades older than us. Uh, me and Brad would like sit out there and play our Game Boys. Michael and Jeremy would too. But uh, Michael and Jeremy were more in the Pokemon. We were playing Mega Man. We'd sit out there for hours playing Game Boys. And then, you know, we'd play football, tackle football. Uh, majority of my childhood was spent outside, I'd say. Like, majority of free time, obviously not kind of like sleeping or stuff like that. But man, don't, don't stay in the house all day. Especially if you get to a new base. Like, I don't even know anyone. And I'm still going out, checking out things to do. You know, I want to go to some of the uh, comic conventions out here. And I'm not even into that type of stuff. You know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not really an anime at all. But... I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna go to the conventions. I'm gonna go to the fit expos. I'm gonna go to a bunch of stuff. Regardless if I have someone to do it with, I mean, who cares, man? Like, <laughs> everyone's walking out here in Paris. I mean, yeah, it's cool to hang out with people, but I'm just saying, like, don't, don't isolate yourself inside your house because there's no one else to do stuff with. Go out, meet people, just Do, do stuff that's productive for yourself. So if you're staying in, man, study. Improve on something. If not, go outside fucking... If not, go outside, go hiking. Do something, man. Like, especially if you're trying to cut weight. This burns calories. This burns a lot of calories, I'm telling you. I'm not trying to give you guys a knob of the beast moto speech, but uh, don't... Don't waste your free time, because you'll look back and regret it so much. Officially pooped. Saw the beach. Did the hike. Gonna go get food and be ready for work tomorrow. Oh hell yeah! Gotta stand close enough because my keys in my bag can get there. Oh dude, I'm so ready to go get food. It's so hot, man. Feel like, like seriously, California sunburn feels like third degree burns. Like <laughs> in and out. All right, guys, we're gonna give in and out another go because said it was trash last time, but we're gonna go to a different one. So if it's trash two in a row, I'm gonna promise myself never to go there again. In the last vlog, you guys were getting mad. Oh, don't say that about in and out Man, if, if, it, if it's trash twice in a row, I, d I demand each person that said in and out wasn't trash to send me 
the equivalent of what I'm paying for this burger, all right? Yo, I think they're closed. They don't even put a sign on their door saying they're closed. No, that's too much of an inconvenience. We're just gonna say we're open on Sundays, leave that sign up saying, yeah, we're open. <laughs> just no one be there. We're just gonna get Subway. All right. I'm gonna go in there, wash my hands, eat in there, and chill. It's been a long day, guys. I'm gonna go back and study. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Sure you didn't, so leave a dislike. Um, please leave a dislike. 